as you see, the uh, user uh, has a problem reading an XML file from, uh, uh, from a text file into Oracle database and in interpreting them. It used to work fine in a US 7 ASCII database, 11G database, and now after an upgrade to Oracle 12, with the character set AL32 UTF-8, they get an XML parsing error uh, when, uh, when they try to read the same file into the database. And the question is, uh, it would be great uh, if I could share some insight whether uh, there is a need to change the coding due to character set change. And I thought it's a quite interesting uh, a question because the function that is used to read the text file is the dbms lob load from file function and what what is interesting about this function is that it is uh, currently uh, in i mean since 12.2 uh, database release actually uh, a deprecated function and it i thought it would be interesting to uh, show you okay as you see load from file deprecated since oracle 12.2 the question is why right if you look at the uh, declaration of this of this function you can see that there is no place to actually specify the encoding of the file that you load. Here, the documentation says that this function can only read into a blob, which is not quite true. There is an overload that allows you to read uh, to blob as well, uh, to, to a character uh, lob uh, file, the uh, value actually or column. Uh, however, there is no way to really specify to the function what is the encoding of the text that is uh, loaded from the file. So I prepared a short test. I removed some of the unnecessary uh, calls from the, from the original question, right? And prepare a call that shows you what happens if you use this function load from file to load a simple ASCII text file, right? So the, the, there is a simple text file. The encoding is uh, ANSI, which basically means uh, uh, Western European code page, or actually in, in case of my uh, Windows installation is probably the Central European code page, but we, we only look at the ASCII subset. So basically this is ASCII subset. If you look at how it is encoded internally, you will just see these are two ASCII bytes, right? Six one uh, for a, a small a and six two for small b, just two bytes, right? And the, and this file is stored in a, in temp directory on my drive, right? And now uh, now looking at this code, right? We will open this file from the test directory, uh, read it into a temporary CLOB, and, st and store it in a, in a table to look at it. Right. So le le let's see. The database character set is AL32 UTF-8. Right. So this is the, exactly the character set that uh, the user asking the question has in uh, their new 12C database where they see the problem, right? I create the directory pointing to uh, to my drive locally. The, I'm testing this with a local database, a local 19.3 uh, database. We create a, a directory, right? We create a table with just a CLOP column. Right, and then we call 
the code that I have uh, shown you uh, a moment ago, where we just read the file as is into the database. All right, so let's, let's execute this. The PLSQL procedure has been uh, successfully completed. So now let's look at this data. We want to look at the internal encoding of data. If, if, we, just, if we just query the data without looking at the encoding, you remember the file just had two ASCII letters, A and B. If, uh, if we just look at the column directly, the CLOP column, we will see something pretty strange, right? It's a Chinese character. Now, let's see what is actually inside, right? So we look at the, uh, uh, we look uh, at this column, we convert it to the varchar value and use the dump function to look at the bytes. The problem is there is no dump function for, for CLOPs, right? So we have to read it. Um, uh, read it uh, uh, first into a varchar to value uh, to be able to look at this uh, as, as bytes. So if we if I call this, I will see three UTF-8 bytes. So AL32 UTF-8, which is the Oracle name for the uh, Unicode UTF-8 encoding. A6, uh, A6, uh, sorry, E6, uh, A5, A2, right? strange we have loaded two ascii values what happened if we look at the this is uh, my uh, uh, favorite uh, page that i used to uh, convert between various unicode encodings if we take the value that is here, copy it, remove the superfluous information and convert, right? You will actually, we will actually see to that uh, in the UTF-16 or UTF-32, but doesn't matter really, but mainly in UTF-16 encoding, we see 6162. These are bytes that look very familiar, right? These are the ASCII bytes of, uh, of the text that we loaded. So now the question is, what happened? Uh, in October last year, during uh, the office hours, uh, I talked about how CLOP values are stored in the database when the database character set is multibyte, right? So this database, my database, and also user, the user's database uh, are AL32 UTF-8, which is a multibyte character set. In such database, all CLOP values are stored in UTF-16 encoding, quasi fixed width. Right, so each character has two bytes, more or less. Uh, so what happened is that the code, the load from file function in the DBMS lob package, actually loaded the bytes of the files without any encoding and stored them in the lob value, in the CLOP value. So the two bytes that were there, 61 and 62, they were stored as two consecutive bytes in the lob value. Because the lob value is encoded in UTF-16 in an AL32 UTF-8 database, now the database treats these two, two characters as a single UTF-16 code 6162, which happens to be the Unicode uh, code point for the Chinese character that you have seen uh, on the screen uh, when I just read the value directly, right? And obviously, uh, in user case, when they tried to uh, 
parse the, this data as XML, right? So the original question actually um, does something different, right? So takes the seal of value and actually tries to parse it and create an, an uh, XML type value and store it in an XML type column uh, in a table. But this parsing fails because, of course, the text is uh, senseless because instead of ASCII that forms all the um, uh, XML tags and most of the XML text is actually ASCII, are now interpreted as some Chinese or whatever other uh, uh, random characters because of this wrong encoding. So the answer, to the, this used to work in US7 ASCII database because in US7 ASCII database, which is single byte, CLOPs are encoded in the database character set. So they are also encoded in, in US7 ASCII. So when the same file was read into the database, everything was fine because the value was uh, interpreted correctly in ASCII. Now it is interpreted, the same bytes are interpreted as UTF-16 bytes instead. Uh, instead. Uh, which, of course, as, as we have seen, uh, leads to strange, uh, uh, strange effects. So, what should, what is the solution? The solution is instead of using this deprecated load from file function, uh, we should use a load CLOP from file. Right? This function has a parameter called pfile. CSID, where you can specify the character set of the uh, of the input file, independently of the database character set, and the DBMS log package will do the proper conversion from the character set of the text file to the database character set, and then to the to the actual encoding uh, uh, character set for the CLOP. So depending on the database character set, this set can be the database character set or UTF-16. Uh, it doesn't matter from the user perspective, the database will take care of it, as long as the as user specifies the right uh, ID uh, for, the, uh, for the character set. How to get the ID? We have the NLS car set ID function, where you can specify the name of the character set, and then you get the ID. So in case your file was US7 ASCII, uh, you pass the value one uh, to the function, and then the function will recognize the file as being in US7 ASCII. If this was some maybe Western European encoding, right? Uh, then uh, you could you could specify here uh, the appropriate uh, encoding, let's say uh, Western European uh, Windows code page. This would be, would be the number 178. Or if the file was actually UTF-8, which was quite probable, right? Then you would pass 873. As the parameter, uh, as you see, if the if the text file is UTF-8, so Oracle name AL32 UTF-8, which is the most, this is actually a recommended encoding for XML files, right? Then still the original load from file function that was used in the code is wrong because this. Uh, UTF-8 file will be read directly into a log value where it will be then interpreted as UTF-16, not, not as UTF-8. And this will also lead to uh, strange uh, results. However, this recommended function for loading the file, so load CLOP from file, if you specify 873 here, will do the proper conversion uh, when loading so that the value is properly stored in a seal of value and then when it's read uh, it is also uh, interpreted correctly so this would be the answer to the to uh, to the user's question instead of the deprecated uh, deprecated function uh, load from file one should use the load 
seal up from file and specify the character set of the input file. Right, and then uh, this code should work with any database character set, as long, of course, as this database character set is able to represent all characters that uh, that are in the text file. If if the if the text file contains characters that cannot be interpreted uh, represented in the database character set, then obviously they will be lost. They will be replaced with some replacement character, uh, and uh, no longer no longer legible. 